Hi everyone, Ross here from Ross McGibbon Reptile Photography and I'm down on the south coast of Western Australia near Bremer Bay and I'm filming a juvenile jugite, also known as the spotted brown snake, which is one of Australia's highly venomous species. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you some textbook brown snake defensive behaviour. I'll give you a breakdown of this behaviour and I'll provide you with some insight into the intentions of this snake and why it's behaving in this manner. As you can see, this little guy is pretty worked up due to my close proximity to it. Now most people would take one look at this behaviour and perceive this as pure aggression, and I can see why it would be easy to interpret it that way. The abrupt jerky movements, the rearing up, the mouth gaping, the short advances all look pretty aggressive if you aren't familiar with the defensive behaviour of these snakes. But let me give you some insight into why snakes behave in this manner. First, let's consider the size and the age of this snake. It's about 30 centimetres long and only a few months old. At this age, it perceives anything larger than it, which is just about everything, as a potential predator or a threat to its survival. You'd probably be pretty nervous too if you were fending for yourself at such a young age. So when a snake is confronted by what they perceive as a large predator, the snake has only one priority, survival. To ensure its survival, it has two options, behave defensively to make the aggressor retreat or flee to safety, also known as the fight or flight response. Because this little fella is so tiny and cannot make a quick getaway like an adult snake might, it relies more on defensive behavior or the fight response. I want to stress that this snake is not behaving aggressively because it wants to attack me. It feels threatened, scared and vulnerable, which provokes a defensive reaction. It is also important for us to realize that this defensive response is automatic and instinctual, meaning juvenile snakes do not learn this behavior from their parents or other snakes. It is hardwired into their DNA for their survival. After discovering this, I hope that you'll begin to understand that snakes do not premeditate attacking humans, nor do they seek us out to do so. They merely react in fight or flight when they are suddenly encountered by a potential threat. Now let's discuss the intentions of this snake. Generally speaking, most snakes will avoid biting when given the chance. To demonstrate this, I'll slow down this footage and point out specific cues that you might have missed at full speed. And I'll even let the snake come into contact with me to illustrate my point further. Watch closely as the snake performs defensive posturing to intimidate me into retreating, which is all of the rearing up, mock strikes, short advances and generally erratic movements you see here. Then, whenever the snake senses an opportunity, it attempts to retreat in the other direction or find somewhere safe to hide. Watching this snake toggle between fight and flight should indicate to you that the snake has only two intentions, defend itself or hide from potential danger. Finally, when I allow the snake to reach my feet, instead of biting, it tries to curl up under my shoe confirming that all it really wants is somewhere safe to hide. Now the take home messages are that snakes can be instinctually defensive when other larger animals confront them and their defensive behavior is mostly just posturing or bluff intended to intimidate you rather than attack and bite you. That said, I'm not advocating getting this close to wild snakes. I'm simply demonstrating that snakes are not out to get you as many people still believe. So for your safety, do not get this close to wild snakes without the required training or experience and do not imitate anything you see in my videos. All right, I'll now leave you with some of my favorite photos that I captured during the encounter. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you'd like to check out more of my work, visit my online shop at rmrphotography.com.au where you'll find prints, digital downloads, my annual fundraising calendar and more. If you've enjoyed this content and want to see more, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Flickr by searching Ross McGibbon. Thanks and take care everyone.